Okay, family, my sisters and brothers and extended family, everybody. All right, um, prep and some other uh, things that I want to cover is watermelon. You buy it, you pre-cut it yourself at home. You cut it yourself. And you have like a bin like this where you just pick a couple to snack on after you've had your dinner. Or you take a couple and you bring with you for lunch. Um, I'm my son and my honey calls me a uh, OCD on the bins, and uh, I call myself organized and prepared. All right, so you take the see this little bin dollar store. You get three or four of them for a dollar. You put them in here, a couple of pieces, nice. And you got your nice fruit, fresh fruit to take with you to work. If you're on the road, you can freeze it just like this and it'll be like watermelon ices, which I did that for my honey and he forgot to take it with him. Um, so this big bin, comes out great for me because I cut half of a watermelon that fits in here and I cover this up this stays nice and fresh he knows where it is I know where it is if we feel like having something cool refreshing to eat watermelon is good for your kidneys it's good for your digestive system it cleans out your urinary, tra urinary tract and it's good it's a flusher. Okay, so that. Craisins, I brought this. I like the cranberries in the salad. You can do that. Make a nice salad, add these cranberries. This is craisins and it has, it's infused with blueberry juice. Healthy. It's a salad add-on. Or you can eat it like that. And again, Cranberries, blueberries is good for you. It's a detoxifying fruit. Um, again, my bin that I put in the refrigerator, this bin here, the green one, has all my prepared salad stuff. Um, so I got my cup peppers in here, and I got my onions, and I got my olives, and I got my uh, tomatoes, and cucumbers like I showed you. The snap peas are in here. So this is like, know where it is, okay? I have other bins like that in the fridge that have whole foods or some other items that are not the food prepared, but the whole food is salad or whatever it's itself a couple of things like I said the canned chicken I made some the other day yesterday and I have leftover which I'm gonna have in a little bit once I'm done here which is great you know it's the chicken with the uh, light mayonnaise and you could have it with um, either your bread or alone the tortilla chip um, Again, portion, watch what you're eating, um, or multi-grain crackers, you know, that's good. There's uh, other things that you can eat, hummus. Hummus is very good for you. It's chickpeas, it's a vegetable spread with garlic. Not everybody likes it, but it's good to have on a cracker, on celery. And talking about celery, one minute. Keeping your celery fresh so it doesn't wilt. I keep it in water in the fridge in the cup because it's feeding the water in the room. Let me put some more water so it keeps it fresh. It doesn't wilt, you know, like because if you leave it in the bag that it comes with in the uh, fridge, it starts to get like so. Any kind of like, even that 
onions that I showed you, the long, like chive style onions. Um, you can keep it in water to, to keep it fresher for a longer period of time. And again, you have easy ways, easy success, oil in the bag, brown rice, easy peasy. 12 minutes, boil it in the water, and you got your brown rice. For those on the go and those that come from work and then just want to cook quick and get their butt relaxed. The only thing is watch out because these bags, they freaking, when you want to like pick it up to strain the water out of the rice that's in the bag. A couple of my bags broke and fell into the damn water. I was not happy. I had to strain the damn thing again. You got your oatmeal, very good, high in fiber, good morning breakfast. These are packed in the envelopes and 160 calories, zero fat, high in sodium, 200 grams, 12 grams of sugar, four grams of fiber, 20% iron. So just saying, Quaker Oats. If you don't want Quaker Oats and you are organically conscious this is happy rolled oats it's organic and it's really good i tried it i cooked it in water and um added my milk and sweetened it with honey and added pure cinnamon powder really good um also ranzoni makes a a garden delight veggie pasta I did one, a nice big plate, and brought it to my sister-in-law's daughter's house for 4th of July, and I added, it was a cold salad, and um, what I added was tomatoes, uh, chopped peppers, olives, broccoli, fresh broccoli, um, it, it, apples, it was so good, and then I added the vinaigrette. Uh, dressing um, which was nice gave it that tang olive oil of course you know, so it gave it a good kick and then like I said if you make rice or anything and you make too much freeze it this is brown rice I'm gonna I'm leaving it out so that I'll have it tomorrow with something so save buy be conscious of what you're buying buy only what you're really gonna eat and don't overbuy like oh I'm gonna oh this is great I'm gonna buy this this is that and then you waste a lot of food because you bought too much especially with the salads they go back quick buy enough for the week or whatever or if you're gonna buy for the month you know don't buy something that's gonna rot within a week like the salad stuff just buy one head of lettuce and stuff and make sure you eat it. And then buy, uh, you know, what I notice if I buy um, eggplant, I prepare it and freeze it. If I buy squash, it goes real bad if I don't use it right away. So I'll have to cut it up and freeze it. So it'll save you money and you don't waste money, you know. All right, so that's it for today. I'm tired. I didn't even go for my walk today, but it's going to rain. So you guys have a nice day. Love you. Bye.